Not the ginger. Back to Hogwarts Legacy. My name is Aidish Prophet. Sit back, relax, grab some butter beer, and let's uh let's see what happens now. We're gonna go talk to Professor Weasley or uh, Headmistress Weasley. Oh, I like that waterfall. Why am I stuck in the freaking? This is cool. Okay. Sprint. Oh my God, how many stairs? Revenia. Why was he putting his hand out at me? Whoa, what's this? Good Hello. Morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for Gosh. a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Okay. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? But owls? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine mm. what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much kind discussion of with up. the headmaster and the you Department of Magical just, Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Extraordinary. <laughs> extraordinary. I can't say it like they do. Extraordinary. That was crazy. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help a you to keep track of what guide. you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Resource. Whoa. It's disappeared. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Whoa, there's so much going on. Why am I walking so damn slow? The guide will give you opportunities oh, cool. to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that Revelio and see what details the field guide can provide? Whoa. Kelpie statue. The statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is Loch Ness Monster in, in Scotland. I like that little detail. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. The progress toward completing challenges appear here. Over the field guide. Wow. What is all this? So that's my level. Challenge progress. Whoa. Combat zero. That's a dragon. Huh. Interesting. Okay. That's kind of cool. I don't know exactly what this is. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities I know what this like is that inside and outside of the castle. Oh. Damn, that was very dramatic. You're about to die. Let me check one. Alright, we're good. Oh, hey, look. Whoa, how does it do that? That is so cool. What the hell? 
It's blowing. Ah, good timing. Let me get Perfect the chest first. Opportunity to show you how to use no, stop. blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Stop Your it. field guide contains a map of the castle. Uh. Open it up and find Central Hall. Whoa. Two main areas, the left side where the students and professors live. It includes the house, common room, and great hall. What am I supposed to be thinking of? Oh, okay. In this video, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames. You've discovered gray is where you have not. Okay. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Library annex. Huh. Oh, here we And here we are. Oh, Quite the quick. time saver. Oh, These yeah. stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. You can get almost anywhere in the castle. Quick rebellious. This is dope. Oh, what's over there? Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, Whoa, so to speak. That, is. that should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon Hogsmeade. as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you pubs. require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends mm -hmm. in due course. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark I mean, Arts class? Sounds like it. Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense like Against the Dark Arts uh -huh. is required for those who aspire to become auras. auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that Hecate. regard. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all jinxes. terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank, you. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. True. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging okay. by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. Yes. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. Don't worry My about suspicion it. is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Do I lie or do I don't? Hmm. I'm not a liar. Did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and mm, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare 
aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Revenia. Stone sirens encircling the fountain's base. Hell yeah. Rebellion. Oh, I hear it again. Ooh, there's a chest down there. Somebody let me clean up. Okay. Man. Oh, I have to talk to this asshole first. Professor it's good to see Elias you, Professor. Fig. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about... Exploring ruins. Mm, a little bit. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Mm, Speaking yes. of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, <laughs> why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. What? Main quest will further the story and grant XP. Some quests are locked by a spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you need to be required level. Yeah. New spells can be earned by completing professor assignments. Okay. Dark Arts. Or oh, Charms class. Accio, Levioso. Accio, Levioso. Let's go. The map is Enchant enchanted to help you find your us. way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. Yes. You'll enjoy Mr. Oh, Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and more than may hinge on the magic you are able to master really within annoying. these walls.
Revelia. Interesting. What the hell? Twenty one. Uh, what? Oh, that makes my brain hurt. I'm not quite sure actually. There's something over here. Right there. Rebellion. Ooh. Statue of Gregory the Smarmy. <laughs> the statue with an ingratiating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory's un... I don't know that. Unction. A potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Hmm. Sneaky. Yeah, I'm level two. Okay. I'm always said to travel broadens the mind. Okay, shut up. Can we explore? Whoa. What is going on? Is this where Snape lives? Is this potions class? Whoa. Curiosity killed the cat, am I right? Ah, oh, level one lock, okay. I'm level two though. Ah, oh, whatever. Well, it is like, po this is potion class. What is this? Whoa, memorandum. Or office, Borgen, Borgen and the Burks has an increased amount of activity outside of the ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more auras to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the few additions. Interesting. I'm... liking this. Hello. Can I talk to you? Rebellion. This place is cool, dude. I love this. It's like I'm in the freaking movies. Boom. Boom. What is going on? There was something over here, right? Chess. I just know it. I agree, actually. What are you wanting? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Oh, for Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha balmy. thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Hmm. Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. True. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Interesting. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. I will, probably. Do oh, come oh, and find me oh. if you stumble on something. Lumos. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Lumos. Yeah, it's over here. It's like, right. This looks exactly like the location here. from the painting. What could be so special about it? <laughs> What do I do with this? Lumos. Revelio. Ah. What do I do now? Because I see her in there, but. Lumos. Revelio. Is this not the location? You are already at your... yeah, okay. Mm. 
Mm. Let's just search the air to see what it Oh, you know what? Hold on. Lumos. There it is. Ah. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. It's a moth, so it follows the light. That makes more sense. I adore Go in the thing. <laughs> I oh. knew that was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Hell yeah. Dude, I'm so good at this game. There's a chest. Statue bears the likeness of Pangor Dawn, a fearless feline mouse hunter and devoted study companion. Badass. Revelio. Oh. Haha. <laughs> broken broom. The broken broom belonged to Celine Wont. Wont Nabby? I don't know. Uh, and his rumor demonstrating her experimental lunar aberration charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. Interesting. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Uh huh, thanks. Revelio. I see it. <laughs> this lady needs to shut up. Three sister bells. Three sister bells are said to be tribute to three similarly named beautiful steep ridges. Or girl Shire. I don't know. It is rumored that one can hear them ring in the glen, way across the highlands. When they are rung in the castle, locals have been baffled by the mysterious ringing for years. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go do what we were supposed to do. Revenia. On, our, on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road. Again. Right, let's go. This game is so cool. Oh, I love it. Also, a chest on the left. Hey, girly. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? Yeah, I found the location color. depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You got that. You one. have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Mm -hmm. The moth. Revenge. I should have seen that. Like a moth to a flame. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Hmm. Quite right. Anything new? Oh. Where? Revenia. Up and above, maybe. Portrait of Sir Cadogan. Sir Cadogan was allegedly friends with Merlin himself, and such a 
and such became a sworn knight of the Ryan Table. Although he is only really known to the wizarding world, he is famous for his defeat of the Wyvern of Y, of y and now spends his days challenging students to duels. Level 3B, Yach. Hi, Eddie. Avelio. Upstairs. Off on another adventure, are we? Yes. Revelio. Who is this? Another one of these things. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna do some more exploring and I'll come back when I figure things out. Sure. You just have to use that, um, what's it call it? To figure out what's going on here. I'm gonna pull up that sheet right now. So, that top one's a 5 plus a 6. 5 and 6 is 11, so we need another 6, which is a lizard. That one on the bottom it's a weird thingy which is seven plus zero you know one, which is an owl looking uh it doesn't exist uh okay oh there's a bunch of doors what the hell okay Lizard plus tarantula is eleven. We need four, which is a owl looking on a guitar. Yeah, right there. The bottom is thirteen plus zero. We need a five. So five would be a tarantula. Oh, there it was. Sorry. Haha, <laughs> look. Look at this. Revenia. Oh, there it is. I was wondering where this freaking field guide was. Alright. Arithmancy. Arithmancy. Classroom. The classroom is where students learn about the magical properties of numbers and numerology, though a great many opt instead to spend their period counting moon, call, moon calves while snotting off at their desks. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna continue exploring just a little bit more and then I'll finally get us to the to the thing, don't worry. I'll see you. Road again. To, get to class. Whoa, hey. Wicked. Ah, oh, cool. Okay. Like a painting or something? A mural? Let's go to glass first. Oh wait, hold on.
Hmm. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. You said that before, lady. There we go. Revelia. Hmm, there's something over here. Professor Figures, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student of Hogwarts. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to keep them acclimated, er, to help them acclimatize before the term begins. I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Rebellion. Oh, Professor Big, hey. Don't mind me stealing your money. Where is this thing? Did I already discover it? Where was it? Hmm. Whatever. Alright. I'm gonna get to class. I keep saying I'm gonna do that, but I keep getting sidetracked. Here. Upwards. Hello. Well, hey. Professor Rowling seems to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. I've always been the werewolves joined the goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't be the fact. She says it's that a boot, annoying. and he says it's a flag. <laughs> <laughs> cool. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Flack. <laughs> that guy's so annoying. Hello. Up above. Oh, there it is. I was like, come on. Tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. Tapestry depicts the bear's wizard Barnabas the Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact of the arts that he had. Whatever. Interesting. Oh my god, I just want to go to class. class. Uh, I'm probably late. <laughs> we Sprinting. There's so much to do in this game. It's kind of ridiculous. Run. This castle. Yeah, the castle is enormous. Finally, geez, it only took me 10 years. Uh. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Ah, oh, I love your accent. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. You met Professor Ron. <coughs> Someone's mentioned Nettie. Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome oh, to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold 
with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Not me. Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well. It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Spell. And go. Akio bum. Bring me your bum. Akio. Akio bum. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Okay. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very Never. good, everyone. She's awesome. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. Hell yeah. After me. After me. <laughs> See, my thing is... I go have fun in classes, too. <sighs> Busy shit. I've always found that friends, fun you know I mean? goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> I'm the only so, Slytherin in this class. What better than a bit of sport to put our yeah. prowess well, with the summoning charm to the there. test? Um, right? well, nothing. <laughs> Where did you just conjure this shit? Yeah. <laughs> <is this happening? laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Okay, how do I do it? What am I doing? Accio balls. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm on the last boost. Excellent. Now, uh, think of this like oh, too much. happens to the best of us. Splendid! Too much again? Damn. Okay. Guys, I suck. Oh, too much again. Damn, bro. I got too many balls. Very good. Points. points to Slytherin. But there's certain no sport in playing with the competition. Miss and I, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Oh, she's gonna whip my ass, dude. Fuck. <laughs> You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes. Oh, it has my name up there, that's cool. Alright, bitch. You and me, let's go. Let's tussle. Damn. Alright. Solid showing. There we go. My turn, bitch. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Perfect! Yes! 50 Very points to Slytherin! Oh, look at you, you only got 30. I'm still in the lead. Well, I'm not in the lead. Alright, oh. Come here. Mine. Oh, too much. I know I'm brilliant. Suck my wand. Suck my wand. <laughs> oh damn. 
She got all her balls in my way, man. How am I gonna get... I gotta throw the needle right here. Akio, boom. A perfect score! Slytherin wins. Remarkable. Look, he even said it. Ah, uh, Hope Stark here to play, here to slay. <laughs> Let us make this a uh, bit more him. interesting, shall we? This game is fucking awesome. Akio, boom. All right, guys, come on. We love Miss Natty, but uh, <laughs> I think we are shit. well past interesting at this point. She's gonna whoop my ass. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. We will. This round settles it all. This is it. So whoever wins this is the winner. Uh, that guy in the right just spawned in. That was kind of crazy. Damn. Okay. There we go. Oh, too much. Oh, no, we got it. Nice. Excellent control there. Straight down the middle, maybe? Oh, you better get clipped. Ooh, barely. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, let's avoid the majority. Oh, too much. Dude. Does that count? Oh my god, threaded the needle. I don't know. Get out of my way, lady. Damn. This is gonna be sketchy, dude. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna wait for them to like... Yeah. Ah! Yeah! 300 points, baby! Slytherin wins! God! Oh, I'm him! Her! I'm her! Let's fucking go. Very good, both of you. Well done. I'm not like the other girls. <laughs> I'm not like the other girls. I'm Hope Stop! Slytherin. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. Yeah, and I whooped your it ass. It gets easier, I promise. Not easier than... Uh, I'm That's glad you understand. Hear. I want to be nice to her. Even though, because I whooped her. You know. To put it lightly, <laughs> I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before Wagadu? my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the oh, world Uganda, at cool. a new school in a new country. Uh, yeah, what's up? This may cool. seem an odd question, I but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Really? That's actually pretty dope. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. <laughs> seems very dramatic. <laughs> I love her. She's my favorite now. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is oh, not cool. so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me. Materialized. This enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. That's pretty dope. Is it? Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. Oh, damn. So, yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. Mm. It always so felt better like than home. Us, you're saying. <laughs> nice. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. 
Okay. Until next time. Professor. Of course, you can Professor, you. if you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. Professor. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Oh boy. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Mm, can't wait. First class student is a trophy I just got. I am gonna go to Hello Dark there. Arts. You're the Defense new student, against... aren't you? Yeah, so are you. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. Mm. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. You seem like a chatty cat. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Mm, yes. Okay. I am gonna go to the Defense Against the Dark Arts class because this is kinda getting there, so I'll be there shortly. Let's go, we're at Defense of the Dark Arts class. Not the ginger. Is that all you've got? Shadow. Uh oh, you're dead. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It's not lady. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. 1878? Never. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. <laughs> Knowledge. You know, like, more than to the Ferraris. Wise, age matters very Knowledge. little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? Got him. One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Unspeakable. Especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned. Oh, let me whoop somebody's ass. Small. A feather, perhaps. Or a book. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, I nailed that. Levioso. That's Levioso. Not Levioso. Well, it's a quill. Now, or a pen, let's try something a little larger. Well, her wand is crazy. <gasps> it's the thing. Do, 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 do. Why is it green? That's offensive. To me, my slithering homies. Right, how do I do it? Let do us this. begin with the basic cast. Stop. See how the dummy deflected your cast? This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak. Now, the basic is well done. Boom. Killed his ass. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. Dueling? We'll start with you two. Duelists, Ooh, I like take the girl your the marks. Back. Cool. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, Salo. I want a fair duel. Using only Levioso, Whoa. basic cast, and Protego. You may Pro begin. Stupefy. This should be easy. You're good. Ouch. Now perceptive. Stupefy. This can't be your first duel. Oh, I 
freaking threw him off the table, bro. I whooped him. I am her. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. Yeah. <laughs> I whooped your ass. I'm a badass. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank, Thank you. you, Professor Hackett. Oh, I got a new outfit, by the way. In gloves. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I, want a big I demand witch's hat. excellence from my students. They are Dope. capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing. But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different Whoa. kettle Red of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Whoa. Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Thank you. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. Yeah, your I prefer voice is to just keep things annoying. friendly. Arthur Plumley, that's a familiar name. <laughs> Always thought Leviosa. Was if you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Yeah, I doubt you're one to be feared, but. You've drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Thanks, Beth. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. About how it you got your ass handed practice. to you. Practice? Mm. Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Deft then with again, a wand. Perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Um. Uh, yeah. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Oh, shoot. Sounds dope. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether oh. it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. I've been in the library. You just have it's to be cool. clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps no, I'm somewhere sure you will. unsanctioned. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. Clock if tower. you're interested. Okay. Till next time. Now what do I do? Ba, 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 ba. Level seven, baby. I'm so good at this game. Now what do I do? I'll do that. Where is it on the map, though? Over there, huh? Hmm, okay. I think, that, however, that I will resume this quest in the next episode. Uh, this game is a freaking blast. It looks good. Feels good. Makes me feel like I'm actually in the, the movies. Um... So this is definitely, I, I've heard that the uh, story is about 30 hours long, so maybe a 30 part series, which in that case, hell yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more like it, you know, hit that like, subscribe, comment, all the helps appreciated. And I'll see you in the next episode. Doses.